Hi students, we are back today with a new dictation practice. Um, this is dictation practice number 16 on the YouTube channel. If you are looking for more dictation practice, absolutely go back, um, find the dictation playlist. Um, we have 15 other dictation lessons that you can use to, to improve your English. Um, remember with dictation, we are practicing the bad pronunciation of spoken American English. Um, you don't have to speak like me, but we are trying to adapt our ear to better understand the pronunciation of our neighbors, our co-workers, our American-born friends. So let's jump right in to this lesson. Remember, when we are doing dictation, you should have a pen and paper. You should be trying to write as much as you can. However, it's absolutely okay if you can't catch all of the words. That's the point. You shouldn't be able to catch all of the words. If you are 100% understanding, you don't need to be practicing dictation. We're always going to practice the sentences multiple times. If you can't catch it, after I read it for you at the beginning, wait for the second practice. If you still can't catch it, that's okay. Wait for the explanation. Be patient. And again, it's not like trying to speak the same as me. This is about adjusting your ear, adapting your ear to make those conversations easier for you. If you're ready, let's begin. Remember that during dictation, I won't have the camera available because I don't want you to use my face or my lips. I want you to only be listening. Number one. I need you to tell me what I should have done. I need you to tell me what I should have done. I need you to tell me what I should have done. Two. Did you go to work last week? Did you go to work last week? Did you go to work last week? Three. What you doing Wednesday after school? What you doing Wednesday after school? What you doing Wednesday after school? Four. I'm going to start a new job. I'm going to start a new job. I'm going to start a new job. Five. I'm going out of my mind this week. I'm going out of my mind this week. I'm going out of my mind this week. Six. I'd rather not travel for the time being. I'd rather not travel for the time being. I'd rather not travel for the time being. Double check your spelling, double check your punctuation. You should have two question marks and four with periods. Let me read the sentences for you one more time. Come back up to the top. 
Number one. I need you to tell me what I should have done. Two. Did you go to work last week? Three. What you do on Wednesday after school? Four. I'm gonna start a new job. Five. I'm going out of my mind this week. Last one. Six. I'd rather not travel for the time being. All right, students, how are you feeling? Take a minute, pause the video, take some deep breaths, get some chocolate, and then come back and we will dive into this explanation of the different poor pronunciations. So, number one, I need you to tell me what I should have done. I need ya, I need ya. That D and Y connecting together to make the J, J sound. I need ya. Remember that strong T, that strong T, T, T gets pulled back and held back and it sounds like duh. I need you to. I need you to tell me. I need you to. I need you to tell me what I should have done. Shoulda, shoulda, shoulda. So, so often this should have will contract, will reduce down, and we will hear shoulda, or we will hear should've, what I should've done, should've, what I should've done. I need you to tell me what I should've done. Number two, did you go to work last week? Again, that D and Y connecting, did ya, did ya? The same thing happening with to work becoming the work. Did you go to work? Did you go to? Did you go to work? And then this phrase last week, last, last, that T is swallowed. That T is completely gone. Did you go to work last week? Number three, what you doing? What you doing Wednesday after school? What you doing Wednesday after school? Um, I don't remember which dictation video it was, but there is a whole dictation that is practicing the whatcha, whatcha, which is the what helping verb you, connecting together that T and Y, the T and Y becoming CH, and the R, what are you, the R is completely gone. Whatcha? Whatcha doing? Whatcha doing? Um, this beautiful word of Wednesday, it is never pronounced wed -ness day, even though it looks like it should have three syllables and it should have wed -ness day. It's never pronounced this way. It's always pronounced Wens, Wednesday. What you doing Wednesday after school? I'm gonna start a new job. We've talked a lot in class about I'm gonna, I'm gonna. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, pulling together to be I'm gonna. I'm gonna start. I'm gonna call you back. I am going to, I'm gonna, and then the G gone becoming I'm gonna. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna call you back. I'm gonna let you know. I'm gonna start a new job. Number five, I'm going out of my mind this week. Now in number five, there's not an I'm gonna. We don't say I'm gonna because there isn't a gonna. There isn't a going to gonna. I'm going. That G is gone, going. 
and out of pulls together to make outa. I'm going out of my mind this week. I'm going out of my mind this week. Our last sentence then, I'd rather not travel. I'd rather not travel. I'd, I'd. Um, dictation number six or dictation number seven has practice with I'd, deciding whether it's I would or I had, completely depends on what's coming next in the sentence, right? I'd, I'd go, I would go, I'd been, I had been, I'd rather, I would rather, I'd rather not travel. And then a short note, thinking about this TR, so very often, TR in spoken American English is changed to a CH sound. I don't say travel. I say travel. Try. Trouble. Try to stay out of trouble. Try to stay out of trouble. Take a trip. Travel, that TR changing into the sound of CH in my spoken American English. All right, one more time, all six of these. I need you to tell me what I should have done. Did you go to work last week? What you doing Wednesday after school? I'm going to start a new job. I'm going out of my mind. I'm going out of my mind this week. I'd rather not travel. How was this dictation for you? As always, let me know in the comments under the video which sentence was easy, which was the most difficult, um, what would you like more practice with in future dictations. Remember that, again, it's never like trying to speak like me. It's adapting your ear to the sound of the spoken American English language. Until next time, students, take care. Bye.